definitely that context. I think people are sick of uh, people faking it and people just kind of pretending one day a week to be holy good people or something. My credentials with the Brethren in Christ, I'm licensed right now. I'm going through the process of the, what they call ordination. So I'm credentialed and the state of Pennsylvania, I can marry and bury and do all, all your like, you know, holy man stuff. Yeah. Over the thousand, couple thousand years, we like to be able to break it down so we can find stuff faster. So that we can, you know, memorize Bible verses. If there weren't enough verses, then we wouldn't be able to memorize Bible verses. So if, you know, nothing was ever called John 3.16, then you would never be able to remember John 3.16. Okay. People have asked me, are you a postmodern church? And it's always like, no, we're not a postmodern church, but we live in a postmodern context. So people are kind of sick of, you know, church, basically, you know, kind of being, being these like one day a week holy people. And we're helping them really have a life where it's like a 24-7 thing. And we're, you know, mixing it up with, with each other in different contexts in each other's homes. <laughs> Thanks a lot for coming out today. You know there's been like loads of shows lately, like rock bands and doing some, some rap music and psychedelic bands and avant prog folk bands. And this is kind of happens on this cool lot of participate. My grandparents grew up as kids in the depression. So it was like the church and everything was just like something you did because you're trying to be like a good person, you know. My parents you know, it was like, this is crap. And they were like, it's all bad. And they were hippies, you know, who tried to start their own counterculture of goodness. So now the kids are the hippies. 
are out there just kind of like, well, I don't know if it, life is, if the world is a good place or a bad place, or if being a part of the church is good or bad, or following God, or we want to find like God in our heads, you know. So I think that it's really tough to be able to say, well, God is not just inside your head, and it's a real relational thing, and we need to learn how to love God and love each other in a real face-to-face -face way, and then person by person, we, we're going to change the world. It's real hard to do, especially in you know, an urban context, especially in a context where people have kind of heard it before and decided that it was bogus, you know, or heard it before and, you know, kind of listened or, or heard it before and just kind of got turned off by, you know, the church or Christian people. I give to you. 